T-Squad. Welcome to the Tanisha Show. So you already know who I am. Well, I'm going to bring you the dopest, the realest, and the rawest content. So before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can know every time I post. Let's get. All right. So my first video, I decided why not do a get to know me so you guys can know the person that you're going to subscribe to. So at the beginning of the video, you might have heard me when I said, what's up, QT Squad? So basically, that is the name of the squad that you are going to be joining when you subscribe. We're called the QTs. It's simply mm, a QT on purpose with no explanation. The first question is, what is your full name? So I'm not going to get my full name, but my name is Tanisha Ingram. Um, well, that's what I go by, but my real name is Tanisha. So you can call me Tanisha or Tanisha, but I normally go by Tanisha. Where are you from? I am from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I was born in Plantation, but I was raised in Lauderdale. So 954 in the building. <laughs> How old are you? I am 25 years old. I look young. I'm little, but I'm old. <laughs> when is your birthday? Um, my birthday just passed, um, July 13th. How tall are you? I am five even. I'm not a midget just yet, but <laughs> Close. That was real close. One inch off, but I was. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple, mainly because of royalty. But yeah, this is my first channel, so make sure you subscribe. What are you like as a person? Um, I mean, to me, I feel as though I'm a very cool person, very laid back, very chill, mellow. What made you start YouTube? It was the lack of the support. I felt as though if you didn't have support, why am I starting a YouTube? What's the point of starting a YouTube if you're not going to have anyone to watch it? But then that's where my mindset had to change. It was like you were just thinking about where you live, not everybody in the world. You wasn't thinking about people who feel like they're an outcast. You never thought about people who feel the same way that you do and you can connect to so many people. So it's like, why not make a YouTube to connect to women, boys, men. It's like, why not connect to everybody who goes through this? Because everyone goes through this, but not everyone is bold enough to talk about it. So that is what inspired me. And that's what made me want to start making YouTube videos is because there's somebody out there like me scared to do something or don't want to do something because of the lack of support. And trust me, that is the quickest way to not be successful, honestly. That's like the best way to say it. Like that, that's why I'm making YouTube videos. If you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? I would tell my younger self, don't worry about that support. Don't care about who supports you. Do what makes you happy. Do what you love to do. If you love being in front of a camera, talking to people who are just like you or in your same shoes, what's wrong with that? Who made that wrong? You know, so it's just like, I would tell myself, forget that. Do what you got to do. Make yourself happy and grind but then will you upload videos so i'm trying to become consistent with this so i want to upload i want to come up with a schedule i don't want to say exact schedule until i come up with one but i know for sure tuesdays i'm going to be recording i don't know if it's going to be posted but tuesdays for sure i'm recording i don't know about the posting schedule just yet but of course if you Join the squad, you're going to know everything about that. Have you ever read any books that changed your life? Yes, The Great Gatsby, that book changed my life like tremendously. Because if you read it, it tells you like no matter what you have in life, no matter what you give people, no matter what you offer people, at the end of the day, they're going to find either something wrong with that, something wrong with what you do, something wrong with you as a person. And then make it where that's the reason why they act the way they act or that's the reason why they don't support you or that's the reason why they're not going to come to your funeral or that's the reason why they it's like it's that book is just so deep and like when you read between the lines it really teaches you that you you have you have to know who really have your back and who really don't it's like that book just really teaches you a, a lot y'all have to read what is your favorite song i have a lot of favorite songs but my favorite song, because I'm, once again, I'm a kind of person who likes to know the meaning behind something. Why is it saying this? You know, so my favorite song is Ready for War by Major Nine. Like, 
I'm obsessed with that song because he speaks some true stuff in that song. Like if you go listen to that song, of course, not sponsoring any, not I'm not sponsoring any of these. I'm just giving y'all the pointers so y'all get to know me, mine, to know what's what y'all in tune for. Because this content is gonna be mind blowing because it's gonna be so different. It's gonna be like, whoa, I was looking for somebody who would connect with me and it's me. Me and you, we connect. What has been the hardest thing for you to face or learn? Regardless of what you give people, regardless of what you do for people, that doesn't make them, that doesn't obligate them to have your back or that doesn't obligate them to support you. Like that's the hardest thing. That's the hardest pill I had to swallow from people who I really thought had my back, did it. So it's like, <laughs> okay, why did I stop dance? Because once again, the lack of support when you feel as though someone has took all your energy, has taken all of your hope. It's just like, you don't want to put your, you don't want to do something that you love and have a passion. You don't want to have to do it. So it's like, why would I want to open up a dance studio and have half of the love for dance? Only want to do it for, because, oh, because I love dance. It's like, yes, I love dance all day, but it's like, because I have such a passion for it, I don't want to just do anything with it. I don't want to just showcase, oh, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this. And it's just like, you can do that, but it's like, if you don't have the love for it, it's not going to prosper. So it's like, what's the point of having doing something? So I have to get that love for dance back within myself, and then we can talk. I still play sports? No, I know. Um, I mean, I bat. I mean, I you know, bounce basketball around every now and then, but nothing major. All right, y'all. So that is all the questions that I'm gonna do because I, it looks like I'm over time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can know every time I post. And the next video, whatever y'all want to see, make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, what you want to see next. 